What's up guys, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about probably the biggest reason many of you have not even started the recovery process. So you wanna stick around for this one. Go ahead and smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Today, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your anxiety is like from a scale of one to 10. One being you got that last five, 10% of recovery left. You don't have too many symptoms anymore. Maybe you've gotten rid of panic attacks. 10 being the absolute worst. You feel like crap, you're fatigued, you're tired, you don't know where to start, and you're in constant fear or have constant symptoms. Let me know down below in the comment section, guys. I'm going to take this quick opportunity, guys, to let you know that yesterday I created a free, yes, free anxiety community on Facebook. It's a Facebook group. You need a Facebook profile to join. I'll put the link in the description and in the first pinned comment. If you need support for anxiety, stress, depression, panic attacks, social anxiety, some initial reassurance, if you want to make anxiety buddies, join that group and be a part of that community guys you need to take advantage of free resources I can't stress that enough you know a lot of people don't like paying for services like coaching or courses so if something's offered to you for free and you're still not taking it guys that, that that no excuse for that so join this free resource now guys this is one of the biggest reasons you have not even began to recover you are sitting around waiting to feel good enough, pumped up enough, or motivated enough to take action and finally start doing some of the things that you have either heard of that's good for anxiety or that you know are good for your mental health. You're waiting to feel energetic. You know, you're waiting to feel motivated, to feel good enough to do it. And I did this, guys. I did this for years, and that's why I didn't recover. I wanted to wake up and feel good enough today to do something. I'm going to tell you right now, external motivation especially external, internal, can it, it can be great once you master it. But in the beginning, that's hard. But external motivation, guys, is so overrated when it comes to anxiety recovery. You have to have some level of willpower or develop some level of willpower. You have to go from a talker, a thinker, a planner to a doer. And it's actually a beautiful concept. You know, I've been telling you guys lately in my videos, anxiety is a sign that you need to grow, level up, change, transform. For you to recover, guys, you're going to turn into a doer, not just a talker. And some of you are just talking, 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 planning, 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 thinking, 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 thinking too much sometimes. And you're not doing anything because you either feel too weak, too tired, too fatigued, too nauseous. You have a headache, chest pain. Guys, I've been there. Throw in a few panic attacks a day, throw in insomnia. Eventually, you have to have a little bit of willpower, put one foot in front of the other, Get out of bed, get off the couch, exercise when you don't feel like it, and take action. I'm just going to be brutally honest. I don't want to sugarcoat this for you guys because I don't want you to waste years sitting around hoping that the next day is just going to be better magically, and it's not. Time doesn't heal this thing. It's not like other things. Time doesn't heal this. Action does, and that's what your subconscious wants from you. So if you're waiting to feel motivated, stop. That motivational video is going to wear off. This video is going to wear off. Sometimes even a coaching call with me is going to wear off. I think I'm a good source of external uh, reassurance or motivation. But even that eventually will wear off. You are responsible for your mental health. You are responsible for your well-being, for the decisions that you make, for your anxiety recovery. Nobody else is going to provide that to you. A video alone is not going to provide that to you. I can provide some tools, but you still have to put them to work. So guys, I love you, and I want you guys to stop waiting around to feel motivated or good enough to take action, to put a routine together. I got news for you guys. You have to work on yourself and deal with a routine and have a schedule, have some structure, have some strategy and tools while you're dealing with symptoms. That is a must. And if anxiety is a sign that you need to grow, growing is uncomfortable. You have to be uncomfortable to grow. So stop waiting to feel good enough to exercise. Stop waiting to feel good enough or motivated enough to change your diet or to practice mindfulness. Stop it. Today's the day. Stop wasting your time. But I hope this pumped some of you up and motivated you, right? Ironically. But eventually it's going to have to come from you. You need internal reassurance. You need that internal voice. You need some self-motivation. You got to motivate yourself. But in the beginning, it, it's probably going to be hard to motivate yourself. You're just going to have to do. Make a decision that's best for you. Do something that you know is going to be good for you, whether you feel like it or not. 
So guys, I love you all. <laughs> Try to take this video, this message, and apply it to your anxiety recovery or to, or to actually begin your anxiety recovery. But it works. You just gotta, you just gotta start doing. Stop just talking. But again, join that Facebook community. In the description, there's three other Facebook groups too. Join those. One's for uh, tips and recovery. One's a general uh, anxiety support group. And one's just spe uh, specifically for health anxiety. So those of you that have health anxiety, join that one. That's in the description as well and in the first pinned comment. Um, remember to subscribe, especially if you're new here. Um, I have hundreds of these uh, anxiety self-help videos. Uh, remember, Anxiety Boot Camp is going to be here in November, so be prepared for that. I don't want to catch you guys off guard. Um, I'm really proud of this course. It's going to be amazing. It's going to change a lot of lives. I want you to be a part of that. Remember, the first week that this course is launched, you're going to get it for freaking half off. So not a lot of people are going to do that. So you're going to get half off on this if you take advantage in that first week. So be one of those that uh, can grab this amazing tool for a bargain. So I love you all, guys. Remember, leave me a comment. Let me know on a scale of 1 to 10 what your anxiety looks like today. So I love you all, and until next time, keep fighting.